Hi, I'm Susan Kellner of the Ontario Pesticide Education Program, and I'm here to go over Chapter 11, Protective Clothing and Personal Protective Equipment from the Grower Pesticide Safety Course Manual. There are 21 slides in this presentation, and it will take us about 15 minutes to review. So let's get started. What will I learn? Protective Clothing and Personal Protective Equipment. By the end of this lesson, you should be ready to identify the purpose of protective clothing and personal protective equipment for each step of pesticide use. Choose the items to wear from reading the pesticide label. Describe the items to wear, how to wear them, maintain them and clean them. Describe how to remove, clean and store your protective clothing and personal protective equipment properly. What to wear? Waterproof hat, a hard hat or rain hat. Coveralls or long sleeve shirt and pants. Chemical resistant gloves, unlined, elbow length. Boots, waterproof, unlined, tall boots. Keep these items separate from your other work clothes and have them ready as your pesticide clothes. Read the label. The label states what you need to wear. The items for each pesticide are different and depend on the pesticide's toxicity and how it will be used. The label may tell you to wear different protective equipment for different tasks, such as mixing and loading or cleaning up a spill. You may be asked on the label or told on the label to wear a respirator, a waterproof rain suit, an apron, a face shield, or goggles. Read the precautions section from the Matador 120EC label, which is the example in your manual. You can go down through the precaution section and we'll come to when applying this product workers should wear long pants, long sleeve shirt, and chemical resistant boots. In addition, during mixing and loading and cleanup activities, workers must also wear chemical resistant gloves safety goggles, and a face shield, and either a respirator with a NIOSH, M-S-H-A, B-H-S-E, approved organic vapor removing cartridge with a pre-filter approved for pesticides, or a NIOSH, M-S-H-A, B-H-S-E, approved canister for pesticides. Avoid touching face with contaminated gloves or clothing. Wash gloves before removal. Wash protective equipment with soap and water after each use. Label warnings from the Matador 120EC label. Fatal, poisonous if swallowed. Okay, so a uh, face shield to protect from splashes would be a good idea. Maybe fatal if inhaled. Do not breathe sprays or vapors. Respirator, protect spray, and brain force would be a good idea. May be harmful if absorbed through the skin. Hmm, disposable coveralls with a hood, boots, gloves would be a good idea. And Matador 120EC is corrosive to eyes and skin. It's a skin sensitizer. Do not get in eyes or on skin. So again, goggles to protect your eyes. The pesticide application can be divided into stages. Preparation, you're reading the label, you're maybe uh, purchasing the protective clothing and equipment that you need. Mixing and loading, you use the pesticide in its concentrated form so a spill or splash can cause harm. Application. The protection you use depends on the equipment you're using. If you are in a closed cab with a carbon filter, you may not need a respirator inside the cab. Machinery repair and maintenance. Keep gloves, boots, and goggles available for adjusting equipment. Clean up. Prevent splashes when cleaning out the sprayer. You may want to wear gloves and boots. Protect your hands. Wear gloves that are unlined, elbow length, chemical resistant, at least 14 mils thick, reusable, or the four 
to 14 mils thick single use. So you're going to have to uh, look at the type of glove that you want to wear and check the thickness. And remember those material materials, chemical resistant materials are neoprene, nitrile, PVC. Wear your gloves cuffed under your sleeves. Replace your gloves on a regular basis. Protect your body. Wear a long sleeve shirt and long pants. Coveralls over work clothes give extra protection. Keep these coveralls for pesticides only and store and wash them separately from other laundry. As we mentioned earlier, and disposable coveralls are available, right? So they're disposable. Wear them once and dispose of them. Throw out disposable cover coveralls with um, the garbage. Place them in a plastic bag. Keep them out of the way of everything else and discard with the garbage. Don't reuse. Protect your feet. Wear tall, unlined, chemical resistant boots. Keep your pant legs outside of your boots so that anything runs outside of your boot down the pant leg. And if pesticide gets inside your boots, throw them away. Protect your head. Wear a chemical resistant hat that covers your neck and ears. Use the hood on disposable coveralls or a hard hat is waterproof and it provides extra safety protection. Protect your eyes. Eyes absorb pesticides quickly and completely. Wear goggles for chemical splash protection. They should have indirect vents and a strap made of neoprene or rubber, not cloth. Goggles fit over most glasses and don't wear contact lenses. Protect your face. Protect your whole face with a face shield. A face shield protects from splashes, fits over goggles, and some styles attached to a hard hat. Protect your lungs. A respirator is the unit that covers your mouth and nose to prevent small particles, spray droplets, and vapors from getting into your lungs. Three kinds of air purifying respirators. Particulate respirators. Chemical cartridge respirators. Gas masks with canister. Respirators are approved by NIOSH. That's a place in the United States and they will have a TC number on them. And TC means testing and certificate number. So that's what you want to look for when you're buying a respirator. Now, the particulate respirators protect against dust, small particles, and spray droplets. Uh, the particulate respirators do not protect against vapors. So particulate respirators are classified as N, not oil resistant, R, oil resistant, or P, oil proof. And they have an efficiency rating. It could be 95, 99, or it could be 100. So they will have a TC number of 84, a. That's when you know it's been approved. If the label states wear a dust mask, wear a particulate respirator with a minimum N95 filter. Chemical cartridge respirators. That's a respirator with a cartridge, protects against vapors. An organic vapor cartridge is the type of cartridge you need for most pesticides. TC numbers, the testing and certificate numbers for these respirators, organic vapor cartridge, no particulate filter, you'd be buying a TC23A, organic vapor cartridge, and uh, it has the particulate filter as well, is a TC84A. So there's the cartridge, and there's the filter. Does your respirator fit properly? If it's not fitting properly, it's not going to be working. Do a negative pressure test to check the seal each time you use it. Cover the cartridges with your hands. Breathe in. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. The respirator will draw tightly to your face if there are no leaks. 
Facial hair prevents a good seal. Other air purifying equipment. Organic vapor cartridges and filters are available for tractor calves. Powered air purifying respirators provide more comfortable protection. So there's um, a canister that goes around your waist and you have air coming into the respirator. Supplied air respirators are used when outside air is too dangerous to breathe. Best practices. Talk to your local safety supply store about what you need during the winter months when you have time before you're rushed in the spring. Buy items well before you need them. Buy items for each person who handles pesticides on the farm so they fit each person correctly. Don't share items between people. Have an area where clean items are kept so they are ready when you need them. Removing and cleaning personal protective equipment. Number one, wash the outside of your gloves with soap and water first. Leave your gloves on to remove and clean equipment. Remove equipment outdoors. If using a dry formulation, shake the clothing to empty pockets and cuffs. Place clothing in a plastic bag, labeled, and keep them separate from other laundry. Then you're going to wash those pieces of clothing separately. With your gloves on, wash waterproof items in warm, soapy water, rinse and air dry. Take your respirator apart, wash the harness, seal the cartridges and filters in a clean plastic bag. You can't add water to them. Wash the outside of your gloves again and hang them up to dry and store clean dry items in a storage area, not in the pesticide storage building. Now, Think about how you're washing your spray clothes. Wear chemical resistant gloves to handle the clothing. You can pre-soak the clothing. Do not wash with other clothing. Use hot water, the longest cycle, with detergent. Wash the clothing again. After washing, hang outside to dry. Clean the washing machine. Run the washing machine empty using hot water and detergent and no clothing. Quite a few steps for washing your clothes properly, but you don't want to contaminate any other clothing that's going to go through that washing machine. Personal hygiene, when you have finished for the day, take a bath or shower as soon as possible. Wash with lots of soap and water. Wash your hair and under your fingernails and change into clean clothes. Lots to think about with protective clothing and personal protective equipment.